Okay, now to Gail Gardner, who's going to focus on two of the venerable coaches in the NFL, Don Shula and Tom Landry. They can mail it in as far as the Hall of Fame is concerned. Shula's Dolphins are 5-4, and four, wild card shot. Mm -hmm. Landry's Cowboys, 2-7. and seven. Things, though, not quite what they once were, Bob. Don Shula, Tom Landry, between them, 55 years of head coaching experience, 543 career wins, 11 Super Bowl appearances, four Super Bowl titles. They stand only behind George Hallis in volume of victories. But for both coaches, especially Landry, recent history has not been altogether kind. For years, they could do no wrong, but with success not quite what it once was, comes the criticism and the second guessing. Shula and Landry joined us before their respective games this morning, and we began by talking about the toll that the criticism has taken on each of them. Well, it, you know, it's, it always bothers you a little bit when you're criticized. I think we're human enough to, to know that that hurts a little bit, but as long as I think uh, we know what's going on in our football team, uh, it, it won't take a, a big toll on me. I, I think I know where we are, and uh, I don't like it, but uh, it's something you have to go through when you're trying to rebuild a team. What about I you, think, Don? I think it pretty much goes with the uh, territory. Uh, if the criticism is fair and just, I, I don't have any problem with it. But if it comes from innuendos and half-truths, and then it continues to build from there, I think that the people that criticize have to be responsible for, for their actions the same way that I'm responsible for everything that I say and do. In light of that, Don, let me ask you, uh, one particular situation I think that has been a little sticky for you in Miami is, is talk about your son David and uh, his ability to get along with the players that he's handling and the fact that he is your son. This has been hurtful to you, has it not? And what do you view as the truth of the situation? Should he be working with you? Well, he's been working with me for six years and we've been in two Super Bowls in that period of time. And we've won more games than anybody in, in the 80s. And because we didn't do well at the beginning of the season, he took some very unfair and unjust criticism. Now, this past month, Marino has been the player of the month, and David hasn't gotten an interview. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you, Tom. Uh, in your particular case, there have been some things that have been said over the course of the last couple of weeks. There was a poll taken in one of the newspapers that uh, said the fans watching felt that you should be fired. There was a writer who referred to you as senile. This, uh, once again, is some hurtful stuff. And basically, I think the, the line that keeps getting brought up in terms of yourself is, has the game passed you by? What is your own feeling about that? Well, you know, I kind of feel the same as Don does about criticism, and that if it's just and, and it's intelligent, then uh, I'll accept it. But uh, if it isn't, then uh, I won't. And I think uh, when anybody comes after you, you know, to get rid of you, and, and it sells newspapers, polls sell newspapers. And so that's one of the reasons that they do that. And uh, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, the president and I both should step down. We're at that age right now. <laughs> Something happened this week that I think stopped us all in our tracks, which is the heart attack that was suffered by uh, Mike Ditka. Tell me what your response was when you heard the news, number one, and, wh and what does it remind you about the all-consuming nature of what you both do? Well, Mike puts a lot of himself into uh, the ball games. He's very emotional. He lets his uh, feelings show. I, I do a lot of that same type of thing on the sideline. And, and I want to make sure I get a checkup every year to know that I'm in good health. And as long as I'm in good health, I want to continue to do the things that, that I enjoy doing. What about you, Tom? You, of course, have had a specific relationship with Mike. Well, of course, Mike's one of our best friends. And, uh, and of course, it shocked us when it happened. Uh, I think what takes place when something like that happens is that we, we must check our priorities. Uh, sometimes we're too much involved. We're, we're putting too much on things that we can't control. And that's the thing that you got to watch in football because there's too many things you can't control. And you got to be sure that that doesn't affect you. Don Shula, Tom Landry, thank you very much for being with us and good luck today. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. You have a similar situation, of course, in Pittsburgh with Chuck Knoll. And as Bob mentioned, for the Dolphins, they still have a shot at a wild card this year. Not so for the Cowboys, where it has been duly noted that kids in Dallas these days are more prone to wearing Mavericks jerseys than Cowboys.